We're about to make more history, y'all. Alright, so... This is the Aerosmith night. Um... This is a very special one, because this was the very first time I ever did a double showcase. Because I wasn't sure if I would be able to handle Steven Towers' vocals all night. Um... But I decided that they are going to be the ones to be receiving a full dedicated session to them. Now, a little bit of a backstory on this. Um, I chose Aerosmith over Queen as the classic rock act. Um, particularly on one basis that they were doing like a farewell, like a string of farewell tours. Um... So that was the reason why I that was the reason why I chose them over Queen. Um so yeah, this night is finally happening. It's gonna be at Griff Sale House, which is coming in a, approximately an hour and a half. Like I gotta be out there at six. Um so I'm doing this really quick. I am bringing both of my chargers, my the charger for my phone, which is currently I'm currently have uh mobile data and Wi-Fi off so I could transfer some files to my computer here. Um, and I'm also going to be bringing uh, a secondary charger. This is uh, the USB adapter from uh, my old 2020 phone. And I'm going to be bringing my uh, my wire there. the uh, My charger cord for this camera. Which I'll be probably switching out throughout the night. Um, but yeah, um, the Usher night, this night, and the Michael Jackson night have been sort of, I've been sort of trying to plan them like as a whole entire group session. Well, not a session, but a string of sessions that well, when the night comes, I could just bang them out, bang them out. Um, I'm definitely concerned about uh, me straining my vocal cords tonight, for sure, most definitely. Uh, extremely nervous, just just for the caliber of artist that I'm going to be doing. I haven't done Aerosmith since 20, late 2016, we could round that up to early 2017. So really I haven't done Aerosmith in about... Probably five, six years, seven maybe, seven years roughly. Um, so it has been a struggle trying with these new songs. Like I, da I downloaded a couple of songs that I think might have been good for me to do, like Sweet Emotion, uh, um, Crying Crazy, all of them. Like, a couple of them sounded similar, but I just didn't want to really... It, it didn't feel right for knowing the place I would be going to, and having not been familiar with those particular songs, including, like, Love in an Elevator, and, um... And... I forgot what else. Um... But yeah, this night basically... It's going to be like a full, complete session. Um, it's been hard narrowing down the songs and the set list order. Um, I, I definitely want to do Steven Towers' vocals justice. Uh, I feel like I'm in the same predicament as I was in like season one of uh, Comeback Sessions, where I, had, where I had Queen with Freddie Mercury's vocals. I had Michael Jackson. I had... Uh, at Lincoln Park with Jester Bennington's vocals. Like, everything was just, like, super hard. Um, so, and forgive me for my atmosphere, I'm just sort of, just in a little bit of a chaos mode. I was trying to, I'm trying to finish, I finished up my logo, my, uh, paper list here. So, here, because I don't have much time to spare, uh, the song list, and... I think my goal is to like choose like a pretty good chunk of songs, and then if I get to do like two two thirds of it, I'll be happy. 
I just the battery just went down to like a third of a battery. So they gotta be quick here. Alright, so we have Dream On. We got the Run DMC version of Walk This Way. Doodle Cackalady and Ragdoll, which I didn't do the which I think I would do the first session, but I only did Angel from uh, Permanent Vacation. And then we have Falling in Love is Harder than Knees, Pink, Full Circle and the Farm. Now, Full Circle and the Farm I have, those are like album cuts that did not... Well, I did see, I did watch a live version of Full Circle, which is posted on Aerosmith's official uh, YouTube channel. Uh, and there's like a fan-made version with Steven Tyler of The Farm, which is really awesome. You should check that out. It's a good cover slash music video for it. Um, again, I highly doubt that they will have karaoke videos to them, but I'm definitely going to ask Richie about Full Circle, and I'll explain that when the time comes. Um, next up in the set list... Well, fi finally up in the set list. I don't want to miss a thing. Jaded and Girls of Summer. And as you can see, well, this is the final thing I put on this uh, this paper list here. And it, it looks pretty damn sweet. Um, anyway, the set list. Walk This Way. Ragdoll. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Richie about Full Circle. If he doesn't have Full Circle, I'm going to do either Jaded or Pink. But I feel like Pink is like a good for like later on. In the set. After that, Doodle Cut the Lady. And then Jaded or Pink, deciding on what I'm going to do there. And then Girls of Summer, I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. And then Dream On. And obviously I picked <laughs> Dream Like, I was going uh, back and forth between uh, Dream On being last and Don't Want to Miss a Thing being last. Um, so I'm just... It just sort of... An up in the air, like finalized decision that needed to be made, and that and this is the way the set list ended up. I did have uh, falling in love is hard on the knees, um, but um, due to like wanting to do so many other songs and knowing that I only have roughly eight rotations, and I, and I say roughly in like the strictest sense of the word. Um, um, because I never know what to expect when I go out to karaoke, but so, so far this season, it has been consistently seven or eight songs, no matter where, which bar I go to. So that's, you know, you know, so effing amazing. It's just hard to even fathom. Um, a lot of things personally have been taking place, but I'm not. I'm gonna separate personal life from cari from this karaoke series. Um, but I've been having it rough this week. I really have. Um, I just need to work more on myself. This may be the shirt I'm wearing. Animal. Um, so, I mean, I'm just excited about the night. Um, Meal-wise, I think I would like to try and get wings this time. I haven't. I've only had wings there once. Um, I'm gonna be uh, leaving with thirty-five dollars. That should be enough for like that. If I decide, like the wings, the twelve-piece wings are like almost eleven bucks. So that's gonna be like a third of the money in itself. And I also have to be mindful of sodas as well. And each sort of is like a dollar or so, like an added on dollar. But, um, I don't know what I am going to do as far as meals goes. I mean, I've already ate enough today. I had like ziti and sauce. I had, I just had pizza rolls when I came home. So obviously, you know, I'm really... I don't have to buy something, but I would like to, um, because that, that's why I integrated food into, into my spending money. Um, I should probably wrap it up soon, um, 
Yeah, Aerosmith Night, Griff Sale House. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm literally, I'm gonna continue pushing myself, cause, you know, the second chance was not I did well at, uh, I, the, the, the Gaga night where I forgot this camera, um, the, uh, the Usher mini session was vocally as perfect as I could do Usher, and let's hope I do Steven Tower some justice tonight, um, I'm definitely gonna need a vocal rest, although, I am planning on my next session, my Michael Jackson night at Uncle Zadie's. Um, and, forgive me for turning my nose. Um, that's gonna be hard, and I don't know if I should say, I don't know if I should do it on Wednesday due to how my throat's gonna feel, and how, um, like, if I'm feeling, like, still, like, vocally frog throat, I'm gonna postpone it for another week and have, and have April be Michael Jack, have March be Michael Jackson and Red Hot Chili Peppers. And, like, this whole thing has sort of, like, the out-of-town bars have sort of been playing, you know, a ride with Richie, and if Richie, you know, can't give me a ride, then I postpone it until the next time. Like, I feel like this is that next time now. And I I feel bad, because, like, last, like, this week, I missed, like, I didn't realize that the, uh, the day of the, the day of, uh, me going to a hockey game, uh, coincided with the, uh, the return of Richie at Uncle's 80s, so... It's just been a really hectic week. Um, this paper list was done, like, today and yesterday. Like, 80% of it yesterday and, like, the, the last of it today. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking to have, again, every time I go out, I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to bust my ass singing. Um, and this is all to entertain you, the YouTube audience. Like, if it weren't for you, I probably would have nothing. I probably would just be posting these videos for fun, for the hell of it. But, I want to give you guys content, and I really hope that this series can last. Um, I've been EA, you guys have been great. I'm going to sign out, and here's the first video. I'm going to ease into it with Walk This Way, and uh, enjoy. Enjoy.